Welcome back for some tennis news and Roger Federer's return to the Davis Cup after eight years was not a happy one as he lost his singles match to American John Einer. As the United States took a 2-0 lead in the Davis Cup opener on Friday. Roger Federer was stunned by John Isner as United States took a 2-0 lead in the Davis Cup opener on Friday in Switzerland. The former world number one playing in front of his home crowd lost to the big serving American in four sets, 4-6, 6-3, 7-6, 6-2. This was in fact the first time that Isner had beaten Federer. And on to our NDTV SL Save Our Tigers campaign, we bring you the story of the men in khaki on the front line of forests. Just 15 days of leave in a year, mega facilities and a constant battle with poachers. Yet Kaziranga's foot soldiers are a motivated lot as they strive hard to safeguard the home of the one-horned rhinos and tigers in Assam. Kaziranga National Park, home to the largest number of one-horned rhinos in the world. 2048 to be exact. For a world this big, they are too few, and one might think treasured. Yet they fight for every day of survival against poachers, as do the hundred endangered tigers that live alongside. These men in dusty khaki uniforms are their only hope. These rifles slung over shoulders, they don't hesitate to use. Kazi Ranga has an almost zero tolerance for poaching. This is the bedroom and in this camp three men are staying currently so they share this whole facility so not so great conditions to live in but still they're extremely motivated after the night patrol they return to their humble camp the menu tonight boiled rice and dal it's a bare life not many perks a humble pay and only 15 days of leave a year. Leave Kajiranga ke liye. Koi kisi ka na ke liye nahi hai. Range pata ke liye nahi hai. Toh Deepu Saab ke saath baare mein nahi hai. Director Saab ka baare mein nahi hai. Ham log Kajiranga jo janwar janwar ke samal ne kiye liye ham log itna cost kiya hai aur ham log ka itna tyaag kiya hai. That is the mainly the motivation you can say. Yeah, and dedication is also there. It is there, you will not get this thing everywhere. Here it is quite okay, so I am proud of these people. No poaching death has been reported here in all of 2011. No mean feat given the harsh and continuous hunt of the man for the beast. At Kaziranga with Anjali Estival and Sanjay Chakraborty, Ket Kiangre for NDTV. Well, that was quite an inspiration for all the khaki wearers out there. And moving on, Valentine's Day is just round the corner and shop owners and shopaholics are rejoicing. We take a look around the city to catch up on all the bus. Take a look. of a gift that I've been looking for. Uh, I have we have a photography forum called Photostrophy on Facebook. So we are coming up with a contest for Valentine's Day. So we're having a photography contest so I just came to pick up some gift coupons for that. Gifts, gifts and more gifts everywhere I look and if you're trying to buy some gifts this season, you'll be really spoiled for choice. Here I have some platinum bands here with me, specifically for the Valentine season. And this should make a great start if you're looking to give somebody something really special. And if not jewelry, there's something for everybody this season. Here's hoping you all have a wonderful Valentine season ahead. For NETV Hindu, it's Deepti with camera person Madhav. And in some entertainment news, actor Danush says that his much-hyped Tamil film Moonru will be dubbed in Hindi. 
Moondra will be released in Hindi, Telugu and Tamil as well as with English subtitles all over the world. Moondra is one of uh, the most eagerly awaited films throughout the country after the success of the Kolavari song. The film is directed by none other than his wife Aishwarya Danush. The film stars Danush and Shruti Hasan in the lead roles. And finally, after beating a television show host in a contest of push-ups, US First Lady Michelle Obama is shaking a leg for healthy living. Take a look. <laughs> Well, that is all we could pack for you on this bulletin. Stay tuned to NDTV Hindu for more news and updates.